What's good everybody? So this is just going to be a quick update video for you on my brother Antonio and his current situation. So uh, I know in the last video I left you guys with a lot of questions and unanswered things. It's just at the time I was pretty shook and um, I didn't really know how to handle it. I didn't really know how severe the situation was. But uh, now we have a much better understanding. So I'm going to run you through everything. So the other day, it was just, you know, an ordinary day. You know, I go to work. After work, I go to train. I come home. I shower, eat, and then I record a video for you guys that will be posted the following day. So I recorded that video for you guys. And then I called my mom because I realized she wasn't home. So I called her real quick just to check up on her. And um, she said she was in the hospital. So I got instantly worried because... Those of you who don't know, my mother's actually pregnant with my baby sister. So I thought something was wrong with her at first. But she let me know that um, something happened with Antonio. And it happened in the gym while he was training. They weren't training hard. He didn't get knocked out. He didn't get any broken bones or nothing like that. He just, um, due to lack of sleep, he passed out and uh, he ended up having a seizure. So he was rushed to the emergency room and was, you know, he went through all the testing and stuff. Thankfully, everything came back normal. He still needs to see a neurologist and get an EEG scan. Um, So they need to scan his brain to make sure everything is good. But so far, all the tests have come back normal. But due to him suffering a seizure, he will not be able to fight on July 29th. He wants to fight. He's very disappointed. He still wants to fight, but... It's not happening, man. We're just, we're not going to let that happen. It's unfortunate because he's worked so hard for this and it sucks. It really sucks because it's out of his control, but it could have been prevented if he had been getting the proper sleep. So just for all of you out there, just make sure you're getting enough sleep. This happened because he just hasn't, hasn't been sleeping well. And in the last... I think they said in the last like three days, he only slept like an hour a night, even if that. So it just shows sleep is very, very important. You need to get your rest in. You need to recover because your body will shut down on you. And it scared the crap out of all of us. I didn't know the minute she said seizure. I just, I understand it, it could have been a lot worse. Um, Thankfully, it happened in the gym and it didn't happen like while he was driving or some other worse time. Thankfully, it happened in the gym. And um, hopefully, I don't have to come at you guys with bad news ever again. I normally like to keep that stuff private. But I know you guys were expecting to watch him fight in a little over a month. So that's scraped. It's I'll, I'll let you know when he'll be fighting again. He'll definitely be back. He'll definitely get back to training. He did get approval to start training. Of course, he's probably going to take it easy a little bit. But... He will be back in training immediately, and he'll be back. But thank you guys so much for your prayers. Thank you to everybody who commented and support. We really, really appreciate it. And thank you so much for everything you guys have given us. It's a blessing, and we can't thank you enough. Words can't even describe how much this means to us. Thank you.